usually the standard wood framing system, meaning those containing horizontal top and bottom plates, vertical studs, and optional sheathing work as a unit. This means all elements are necessary for the system to work. This is good to keep the size of materials manageable, but requires adaptation when large open spaces are necessary. Because the usual stud spacing for wood frame structures is either 16 or 24 inches on center. This means that from center of stud to center of stud will measure 16 inches or 24 inches. If you have open spaces without walls, it is likely that you will need to place columns and beams to transfer the loads from the roof or upper floors to a bearing point or foundation. Some common places for this to happen are in large open spaces. A lot of apartment buildings and houses now incorporate an open concept. Covered porches are another place you can see the use of columns and beams. In this sequence you can see how a beam is constructed with two horizontal wood elements placed on top of a column on the sides of the wall. The beams are horizontal elements that transfer load from upper floors or roof to columns and walls which transfer loads vertically to the home's foundation. Beams and wood framing structures are also usually made of wood, but often are thicker than regular framing elements. Sizing is determined by the load supported by the beam and the distance between the points where the beam rests. Columns are vertical elements that transfer load from horizontal elements, floors, roof structures, or beams down to the foundation or other structural elements underneath. Usually, columns within wood framing structures are also made of wood, like the one we see here in this video. But you might also find columns made of metal. Sizing is determined by the load supported by the beam, the material of the column, and the height between floors. 